everything you can do from a copying perspective, you can do through the printer driver. The only difference is you are working with an electronic original versus a paper original. If the COM color is set as your default printer, to make an individual print, simply click the printer icon in your application software, like you see here, and your document will print. Or, you can navigate to the application's print menu, typically located under the file menu. From here, you can select a print quantity or enter into the COM color's print properties to make additional print settings and adjustments. We will look at some of the basic settings and adjustments for the COM color's built-in GDI controller next. Notice the tabs along the top of the dialog box. These tabs segment the driver by function for basic functions, layout functions, image setting functions, finishing functions, and advanced functions. The basic tab houses settings for color mode, paper input and output size, page orientation, paper type, and other things. The color mode selection allows you to select whether a document will be printed in black and white or full color. We recommend setting your printer driver default to auto, allowing the device to automatically produce pages as black and white or full color based on whether or not it contains color. You can also choose to output the document in monocolor, which will print the document in either all cyan or all magenta. The selection for duplex allows you to take a multi-page file and print them on both sides of the document. Choosing long edge orientates the prints so they read left to right like a book. Choosing short edge orientates the prints to flip top to bottom, like a flip chart. Checking mixed size allows you to print files that have a combination of letter size, legal size, or ledger size documents together as one combined document. You must have a unit with the front feed trays on it in order for this feature to work. The original size and paper size tell the machine the size of the digital original and the desired output size for the print. When you want your output size to be the same as your input size, simply leave the selection for print as the same as original. An example of when these two settings might differ are things such as booklets and newsletters. Oftentimes, these documents are created as individual 8.5 by 11 inch pages, but the resulting output might be 4 up on an 11 by 17 folded sheet. In this case, the original size would be letter, but the output size would be tabloid. We will go over the other driver settings that would need to be made for a booklet when we get into the layout and finishing tabs. The input tray is the paper tray that the machine will pull from when printing a job. Leaving the driver setting at auto allows the machine to find the appropriate size paper automatically. If you have multiple drawers loaded with different paper of the same size, for example colored paper in tray 1 and plain paper in another, you can specify which tray to pull from by selecting from the drop down menu. Paper type is one of the controls available for affecting your output quality. The farther down the list of choices, the more ink will be used to create the image and thus the denser the output will be. Managing output quality can be done through a variety of different driver setting combinations, some of which we will cover in this video. Next we will look at the Layout tab. This tab manages many of the controls for how a document is laid out for printing. In Position allows you to select how many images are printed on a single page. The driver default is off, meaning each page is printed individually. The selection for booklet will paginate a multi-page document in the appropriate order so it will read as a book. In addition to making this selection, you will need to set the page input and output size and any finishing functions such as folding and stapling that you want to make. Multi-up plural allows you to take a multi-page document and print it on the same page. You can select two, four, or eight pages to print on one sheet. The thumbnail to the left changes as you make your selections, giving you a graphic representation of what your layout will look like. Multi-up single allows you to take a single document and print it multiple times on a single page. You can choose from two, four, and eight images. This feature is ideal for printing postcards, business cards, tickets, and other documents that can be printed multi-up on the page and then cut down to size after printing. The Rotate feature allows you to rotate the orientation of a document 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees. 
By checking the image position box allows you to bump the image vertically and horizontally for the front and back of a document respectively. Use the pictographs to guide you in determining which direction the printed output is shifting. The image tab contains selections that will allow you to adjust the output quality from the COM color printer. The selection for photo-based and line-based are used for the best reproductions of documents with photos or documents that are primarily text. Line smoothing can be used to smooth serif fonts. It should be noted that this feature will have no effect on PDF documents or other unchangeable images such as TIFFs or JPEGs. The gamma control feature allows you to adjust the lightness, chroma, and contrast in addition to the levels of red, green, and blue. You will notice the thumbnail change as you adjust these settings. You should note that these changes will affect the entire document and as a general rule, it is best to leave these settings at their default. Screening is typically used for documents containing photos. Error diffusion will add black to the print and is best for printing distance or group shots. Dot screening will add white space to the image and is best used for close-up shots or headshots. Screening can be used in conjunction with text and line art and the quality preference is determined by the individual user. The image quality drop-down menu allows you to select the DPI that the document is printed at. The driver's default is 300 by 300 DPI and allows for the fastest, most economical printing. You can change this to a maximum of 300 by 600 DPI for finer resolution. The print density drop-down will allow you to increase or decrease the overall density of a print. You should note that changing this setting will affect the entire document. The finishing tab contains all the functions you can select if you have the optional finisher attached. For example, you can add a slip sheet between printed jobs or sets. Booklet binding, stapling, hole punching, paper folding, and output trace selection. Note the pictograph will change as you make your selections. Additionally, the graphic of the machine will show the user which tray the paper will exit out of. The Advanced tab contains features for applying a preset program to a job, adding a watermark, stamp, and applying a security pin code. Here you can enter in the number of copies to print. The Print and Pause feature allows a user to proof the first print before commencing with the rest of the job. When checked, it will send one page or set. The user must then manually resume the printing by pressing the green print button on the printer's control panel. The program feature allows the user to pre-configure jobs for number of sets and copies per set. Additionally, you can select whether the program has separator sheets used. This feature is ideal in environments where the same materials are being produced from multiple different groups, where the group sizes vary. Classroom and training materials are examples of this type of application. Blank paper cutdown will remove blank pages contained in a document from being printed. This feature cuts down on wasted paper and unnecessary click charges. If you have a paper receiving option attached to the right, the continuous output option allows you to cycle the output between the face down and other receiving option, improving productivity by allowing the machine to run continuously. You should note that this feature should not be used when printing variable data, sets, or other documents where page order is important, or when running paper stocks that are not compatible with the face down tray. You can add a watermark to a document by selecting the watermark option. The driver comes with several standard watermarks. You can add a custom watermark by selecting the Add button and typing a custom message. You can adjust how the watermark is displayed on the page using the selections within the Watermark Details box. The Stamp feature allows you to add a date and or page number to the document. Enter into the details of the Stamp feature to make the desired selections for placement. Selecting PIN code allows you to put a security code to the print job. When this is selected, the job will remain in the waiting jobs of the printer until the security code is input.